Have you seen all of the face masks that are uh, online right now and you've been wondering how to make them? Stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. So today I'm going to show you how to create these really easy face masks. These are great if you want to, um, uh, you know, given our current circumstance and you want to go uh, grocery shopping and you want to feel uh, safe in case you have a cough or to protect others from coughs, these masks are really easy to wear. You just slip them over your ears and then uh, you can head out and then afterwards you know, once things get back to normal, you can always use these masks uh, in your workshop. These are great to have whenever you're sanding down uh, crafts like uh, wood, or if you're working with anything that's dusty like knitting, uh, these are really uh, great to have. And uh, these masks are really easy to sew. They have a uh, cotton front and they're flannel on the back. And they also have wire in the nose so after you put them on, uh, you can pinch them just in the front here so that they fit securely on your face so that they keep out all of the dust. So for today's video, you're going to need some felt. You can pick this up in any color. You're also going to want some tightly woven uh, cotton. So just uh, regular cotton is fine. And I picked up both of these bundles at a Walmart, but I'll leave a link below of all the products that I'm using today so that you can find them online. You're also gonna want some elastic, some paper scissors, and some fabric scissors, some needles, and uh, the pattern. And I'll make sure to leave a link below for the pattern. It's free, you can find it on my website in my free uh, resource library. And you're also going to want some uh, thread and a sewing machine. So to begin, uh, you just need to print off the pattern. So today we're going to be making a mask uh, for women. It's just a general size and it should fit uh, most uh, faces. So you just need to cut out along the pattern it already has the seam allowance um, included. So as you can see on the pattern, you're going to need to cut uh, two pieces of cotton and two pieces of felt. So to begin, unfold the fabric so that the right sides are facing and then fold the fabric in half. And then you're going to want to place the pattern and you can see that there's an arrow here, so you want that to go with the grain. So since the grain of the fabric is this way, I'm just going to keep the fabric like that. And then I find it handy to trace out the pattern with a fabric marker. And then, now that you have the pattern cut out, uh, traced out, you just want to cut it out with your fabric scissors. There, see, that's uh, so easy. And now you just want to repeat the same thing with the cotton. So I'm just, Laying down the cotton fabric, I folded it in half so that the right sides are facing. And now I'm going to put the pattern down and trace it out with the fabric marker.
So now that I have the two pieces cut out, the first step that you have you want to do is just uh, pin the fabric together. And now it's all ready uh, to be sewn up. We're just going to sew up along uh, the edges. So here are the two pieces of fabric sewn together. So this will be the outside and this will be the inside. Um, what you want to do is you want to put little uh, V-shaped uh, darts and you want to put these at wherever there is a curve. So you may want to do three or four of these. And now that you have these uh, all finished, now you want to, you may want to, uh, you want to open these up and you may want to give these a press if you like, but you don't have to. And you want to press them so that all the fabric is going towards one direction. You don't need to press it open. You just need to press it to the side. And then you open up the other fabric so that the right sides are facing and you want the fabric to go in the opposite direction. So this one's going like that and that one's going like that so that there's not too much bulk. And then you just pin the two pieces together. So here you can see that the pattern is all pinned up. So I'm just gonna set that to the side. And now you want to grab the elastic and a measuring tape. And you want to cut out two pieces of elastic that measure uh, six and a half inches. And these are the earpieces. So now you want to place the elastic so that it's around a centimeter. The center is about a centimeter from the edge. And I'm just going to sandwich it between the fabric 
and now have to grab the other side and make sure that there's no twists and then place it so that it's around a centimeter from the edge and then pin it right through the middle. And now you want to repeat that on the other side. And now it's all pinned with the elastic and now we're going to sew. So what you want to do is sew all along the top, along the edge, and then when you get right around the bottom, you want to leave around this much space open. So you stop here and then you start here so that you can turn the mask inside out. So here you can see the mask is all sewn up, right sides together. So now the next step is to grab some uh, floral wire. And so this is uh, painted. So the great thing about floral wire is that if you wash the mask, it won't rust. So you just want to grab, I just eyeball it, maybe around three inches folded over. So about maybe six or seven inches in total. And then I'm just going to uh, twist it all together. And now the end, I just fold that over so that It's all, uh, there's nothing <clears throat> sharp. And if you like, you can put a little daub of hot glue here. If you're worried about the metal coming out or if it, it being exposed when washing it. So now you just want to find the top. So the curve is the top. And then we're just going to sew this into place. So you just kind of eyeball the center and you sew it down with a zigzag stitch. So here you can see the wire is sewn into place and I um, went back and forth in the beginning and the end just so that it would all stay in place. So just trim away any extra threads so everything's neat and tidy. And then you just can now turn the mask inside out. So I went ahead and uh, sewed up the mask. So you can see here that I went along the edge and top stitched, which also closed up the little hole that was here. And, he, and here is, uh, you can see that there's wire in the top. And uh, so how these work, you just uh, loop these over your ears. And it's important to not fiddle with your mask when you're wearing it. You don't wanna touch it because it can transfer bacteria to your hands or to your eyes and stuff like that. You just want to put it on before you go into a store and then uh, afterwards uh, to clean it, you just throw it in the your laundry. Um, just wash it as soon as possible, just on uh, normal. You can put it uh, just with your clothing and in the dryer. And you don't want to use the same mask uh, for every day. It's good to change them. Uh, so it's so it can be handy to have a few of them because if you do go out to a bunch of different stores it, it really doesn't hurt to wear a different mask each time because 
Uh, that way you know that you're always wearing a clean mask and uh, definitely just wear it for one day at the most or change them, wear a few throughout the day and then just throw them in your laundry machine. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below and uh, make sure to subscribe and like my video. And uh, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.